There she is. Who the heck is that? That's our new campaign manager. He called last week to volunteer, and I asked for her help. Wait, help her take over. What about Scott? We need new blood. Gentlemen, Ann Cronenberg, a woman. A woman who likes women. And that's odd, isn't it? Hi, guys. You disappeared in your character so well. The, it's, a, it's, my, it's my own hair, it's not a wig. Really? Yes, we, uh, both me and Emil had to get perms every day we shot. Wow. <laughs> How's your hair now? It's, it's okay, it's good. <laughs> so how did, you, how did you get involved with the film? You know, what made you attracted to the role? I mean, I was, I was attracted to the project uh, just based on the fact that it was Gus Van Sant and Sean Penn, which is a pretty good, it's a combination. pretty good right. combination. You can't really go wrong there. Um, and then I, I hadn't known really anything about Harvey Milk besides, you know, hearing about the Twinkie defense. Right. And by the time I'd finished the script, I realized um, how important a story it is, how amazing a man he was, and, and what his legacy should mean today. And, and I just, I so wanted to be a part of it. How do you know she's not a plant for Rick Stokes? Are you guys always this paranoid? Uh, yes, we take after Harvey. Don't you have someone's laundry to do, Michael? Um, shouldn't you be at a hairdressing convention? No, oh, sir. <clears throat> My girlfriends say you guys don't like women. I'm just asking. Is there a place for us in all this, or are you all scared of girls? I heard that you really worked well with the real life Miss um, Cronenberg. Yes, yeah. She was, uh, I was lucky enough to have her around. And beyond just the stories, she's just an amazing woman to me. She also gave you the earring? Yes, yeah, <laughs> she did. I mean, uh, I got to wear the earring, and then the last, when I was in San Francisco, um, she gave it to me uh, as a gift. And it meant so much. It meant that I had actually sort of done any sort of justice to her as a woman. These people are going to live a life of such open homosexuality. They are going to be removed from their jobs. We're going to beat this thing. We need everyone. We lose this. We'll have anti-gay laws in all 50 states. I know you're angry! I'm angry! The movie is really both cerebral and emotional at the same time. Do you agree? I do. I mean, I, I went to see the screening in the Castro, and I was I was a weeping mess by the end of it. I I had been expect I didn't even bring tissue. I had been expecting, you know, I I'm in it. I'm in it. I know what happens. It's uh, you know, it's just going to be about see, seeing it, and and I can be sort of separate from it. Um, that was not the case. It hit it hits hard, and in a in the right way, in an inspiring way, where you want to leave, you want to shout you want to get on your own loudspeaker and and uh and and talk about these issues it's great that they didn't make it saint harvey he's yeah. he he was uh he's a real man and it's important to see that just as he had real love stories but it's not about it's not his coming out story which i think is completely unique about the movie it's not about him realizing he's gay you know we we meet harvey when he becomes really politically active, and it's a different sort of story than what we're used to in, in you know, a gay movie. Right. Um, and I think that's important because it, it shouldn't be the subject of discussion. What should be up for discussion are the issues at hand for people's lives. Right. You get the first bullet the minute you stand at the microphone. You don't have to go up there. All men are created equal. No matter how hard you try, you can never. In your course of research about Harvey Milk, what did you ultimately discover about the man? I discovered that he was an amazing politician who never, uh, who fought for every vote that he could get and didn't stop trying to change people's minds and didn't frown at people for, uh, for disappointing him in, in, in what they could deal with. But he got people who had never been comfortable with gayness as a concept to vote for an openly gay man, union members, right. the seniors, you know, the Chinese population, the, the, the women, the, the lesbians, just he put together a whole group of people with, uh, and, and, and managed to do it while, uh, while talking about being gay. Right. And, um, I think it's an essential lesson to be learned. Yeah. Once, yeah, never, never blend, blend in. in. I would have, he would have loved me. <laughs> Without hope, life is not worth living. 
You've got to give them hope. You've got to give them hope.